really have anything scheduled for Wednesday, so we offered him a choice of a few different things. We ended up going to Jungle Gym, because we normally go to Jungle Gym on Monday, but Monday was a public holiday, so it was chance, so we went today instead, and he was very keen to go. Um, and he's very tired this morning, interestingly. Um, and I guess I kind of, it occurred to me that he's really quite a sensitive boy, or well, he's really quite a sensitive child in general. Um, compared to what I can see of his sort of peer group. Um, he likes to have a lot of hugs and he's very hugging. Um, and so we had lots of hugs today as he would get tired and want to have a hug and then say, can we go home? And I'd kind of put it off, sort of hoping, and then he'd kind of perk up a bit and play for a bit more and then he'd want another hug and a little sit down. Um, yeah, and I guess, I sort of see myself in him like that. I think I also am a very sensitive person. Um, I suspect that my upbringing was not as supportive of that as his. Um, it helps that he's an only child at the moment. Um, and it helps that I guess I, yeah, I'm fairly in tune with that. So yeah, just noticed that he's a lot, he seems a lot more sensitive than even, you know, than, than other children his age, girls and boys. Um, and I hope that's something that he can, yeah, that sticks with him. Um, something I can kind of support in him. Um, the other thing that occurred, oh, I was talking to my wife about the other day that I thought was, yeah, vaguely interesting. Um, I was actually thinking about that Cat Stevens song, The In the Cradle. And most people don't make a huge effort to change their habits. Um, or don't stick with it, and so actually, what you your the sort of habits that you have now are probably a function largely of your personality, and that probably is going to be fairly stable. Why? What's this got to do with parenting? Well, it made me realise that whether you are you know keen to listen to your child and give them space to talk, whether you take them seriously, whether you have the patience. Um, to let them explore things on their terms, um, even when you know exactly what the answer is, um, whether you have the patience to endlessly answer the same question over and over. These things are not sort of, broadly speaking, are not transient or temporary effects of your situation. These, broadly speaking, will be a factor of your personality. Um, and what, you're, what I'm doing with him at two, whether I'm able to listen to his concerns, as trivial as they seem, because a two-year-old, you know, two-year-old's concerns, let's face it, are, are very trivial to an adult. Um, if I have the patience, if I don't have the patience to listen now, I probably won't have the patience to listen ever. And if we, I get in the habit of not listening to him now, um, you know, when am I going to, when am I going to get in the habit of listening to him? when he has something important to say, because what, he, what he's got to say now is very important to him. And so I guess what I'm saying is I'm trying to develop really good habits of interacting with him now, knowing that in some ways it's not the content of what we're in, of our interactions that's important these days. It's the habit that we get into so that as he gets older and the content of our interactions is important, we will have really good habits that um, will be supportive of him. So I guess that's my little sort of parenting philosophy for the day. Um, you know, try and, you know, be the parent that I want to be, you know, that I'll want to be in 10 years time, do it now, you know. Because, you know, if you don't start now, when are you gonna start? <laughs> anyway, that's my thought for the day. Hope everybody else is having a good time and I hope everything's going well and I'll see you next time.